In March 2019, NVIDIA released Jetson Nano. This is really interesting board for the robotics and for the AI because it's not expensive and it's super powerful. This year in May, they released even more powerful board, Jetson Xavier NX, but it's a little bit pricey. And now they released one more board, one more developer kit, Jetson Nano 2 GB. This is cheap and quite powerful computer for the AI. This should be really interesting computer to learn the AI. And the most interesting thing that if you develop your project with this computer in mind, afterwards you can replace it with a more powerful browser and it still should work because they really similar in terms of the software and in terms of the hardware. Let's open the box and look what is inside. This is where you get your NVIDIA products. Here it is. Jetson Nano 2 GB developer kit. Perfect. This is two boxes side by side. This is original Jetson Nano and this is Jetson Nano 2 GB. This is $99 and this is $59. So this one is way cheaper. And as you can see immediately, original Jetson Nano has four USB ports. All these ports is USB 3.0. And over here there is only three USB ports. One USB port is 3.1 and two other are USB 2.0. Enough this boring stuff. Let's open the box. Unboxing time. Ta da da da. Mm -hmm. And let's take this Jetson out. It has USB C for the power. This is a connector for the camera, the same as on a Raspberry Pi. And actually, you can use the camera from the Raspberry Pi with this one. The standard GPIO connector. Everything looks very similar to the original Jetson Nano. Over here there is a connector for fan if you would like to put one. But I think it should work perfectly fine without any additional active cooling. And this is original Jetson Nano. So you can check them side by side. Looks pretty much similar. It looks like this is USB 3.1 and these two USBs are 2.0. There is also pins over here. And there is different stuff on these pins like LEDs, serial connector, power button and stuff like this. This is Jetson Xavier NX, this is Jetson Nano and Jetson Nano 2 GB. All of them together. Now let's power up this one and see how it works. I have already prepared the micro SD card. It goes here at the back. This is a keyboard. This is a Wi-Fi, it was included, and HDMI from the screen. Now it's only left the power USB-C. Give me the power! Cool, it works. Apparently this is Ubuntu. Now let's install the software for the RealSense camera. Because this is quite important for the robotics. For this you can follow either the instructions on the Jetson Hacks or on the Intel itself. Intel RealSense. So I'm going to follow the instructions on the Intel. Now let's connect our camera. This is my RealSense depth camera. And you need USB 3 for it. And now we need to run RealSense Viewer. It found the camera D435. Let's turn on the stereo module. Ha ha ha. And so our real sense camera works perfectly fine. There is no errors. And so this is the second RealSense camera, I think it's T265. And so this is a tracking camera, RealSense viewer, try 3D. And it works perfectly fine. I connected Jetson Nano with remote, with this USB cable. To the laptop. 
It's actually a funny and easy way to connect Jetson Nano to your laptop. And one of the most interesting things that you can connect to Jetson Nano using Arduino program. This is so funny and this is really in the DIY spirit. So I use the Arduino serial monitor and you see it's possible to connect it. I also connected this camera. Let's see all the fun stuff that we're going to do with it. So you can remotely run the Jupyter Notebook like this one. This is actually from Deep Learning Institute. So this is one of these nice tools with which you can learn deep learning quite easily and interactive. Yeah, so you run all of this, you run all of this, blah, 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 blah. And afterwards you get this one. We have camera here, we have the live stream from this camera. And we can add different photos to our data set and afterwards we can train our model on these photos. Something like this, for example, uh, we can add some thumb ups, thumb down. And now we can train our model. And now we have the live over here and there is some up and some down. So it, it thinks now that it's some down. Ha, ha, ha. This is cool. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so there is a lot of stuff with which you can play. By the way, this green board is a board uh, which uh, my friend is developing for me. And with this board you can control actuators using the Jetson Nano or Raspberry Pi or Jetson Xavier. And all this is possible because they all have the same GPIO connector and even the holes, they're at the same position. So it's uh, like... Really perfect. I will make video about this board uh, later because uh, we're still developing it. It's uh, We don't yet have the firmware for it. Over here on the table, I summarized some stuff, which I personally think is interesting about this Jetson Nano 2 GB. Affordable Jetson Nano. This Jetson Nano is good for the education and for the robotics. Let's start with the education. Many of my viewers asking me how to learn robotics. And uh, my answer is that I think the best way to learn something is to try to do it. So even if you don't know robotics, just try. Try something, try something simple, afterwards a little bit more complicated, etc, etc, etc. But I personally think that in order to learn something, you need to do something with your hands, like uh, really. Because when you're doing something yourself, you find out the problems and you're trying to solve these problems, etc, etc. And this is exactly the purpose of the Jetson Nano. You try the deep learning by doing this on the real hardware. And so, first of all, there is a free NVIDIA courses for this. After you do the courses from the Deep Learning Institute of the NVIDIA, and you submit your project, and if your project is good enough, they will give you the certificate. And this would be perfect, for example, when you're looking for a job in this domain. As I said, I really like that it runs on the real hardware and not just on cloud. It's even powerful for model training. Of course, you wouldn't be able to train super complicated uh, models, but for simple models, it will work. And in most of the cases, it's more powerful than their competitors. And now about robotics, the most interesting part. So first of all, you can run the pipe bullet. Like this, you can do your robotics in theory, in simulation. You can run ROS. I did not do this, I don't know how to do this, but apparently it's possible. I need to learn this. You can connect your real sense camera, depth camera. It works perfectly fine, no errors. It's compatible with uh, most uh, Raspberry Pi heads. It has a GPIO connector, so like this you can easily control hardware. So this tool is kind of the same. It has low power consumption. This is not uh, really important for my projects because usually my motors, uh, they consume way more than just 10 watts. But for me, I see one big drawback that it has only one USB 3.1. And so I cannot connect my two RealSense camera at the same time. But what I really like that uh, Jetson Nano 2 gigabytes, so this cheap version is also hardware and software compatible with the Jetson Xavier NX, at least mostly compatible. So this means that you can start with Jetson Nano 2 gigabyte, this affordable version, you can develop your project and when you're happy with this project and when you outgrow Jetson Nano 2 Gigabyte, you can buy the more powerful brother Jetson Xavier NX 
and theoretically it should immediately work in your project. Don't forget to put the like to this video. I'm serious. If you would like that I do some project with machine learning, write this in the comment. Thank you for watching my video till the end. Huge big thank you to my patrons, here their names. This is the best people who help me with this channel. As usual, stay safe, good luck with your projects and see you next time.